Better shake your booties for black girl nerves. Better shake your booties for black girl nerves. Thank you so much. Hi, Matthew. How are you doing? Good to be with you this afternoon. Nice to see you. How are you doing? Very good. Thank you. Excited about this show. I've really enjoyed what I've seen so far. And what's made these interviews so fun is talking about them without giving a, too much away so people can see the journey with fresh eyes, just like I did. So let me ask you, Marvel, Marvel projects are always shrouded in, in mystery. And even though we might know some historical context, if you're an avid comic person, what's most fun for you as the director, as the project comes out and people react, what do you look for to think, to kind of set the pulse or set the tone for, for the series? Great question. You know, I mean, I am a Marvel fan myself and I want to know everything and I also want to know nothing. And it is that <laughs> terrible tension uh, that I experience myself when I'm waiting for the next Marvel thing to come out. But I think this show in particular is such a little puzzle box. And the less you know about it, the more you can enjoy the experience along the way. So I'm all for trying to keep as much quiet as possible um, because I think it actually will impact the experience, make the experience better if you don't know all of the twists and turns that are coming. Absolutely. And with it being up, you know, weekly, instead of getting it all at once, it gets everybody worked up into some really great conversations, particularly purist Marvel fans and maybe fans who have come along with the franchise and the different films. Where, yep. How do you strike the balance as a director between making sure you're keeping the integrity to the original comic book and satisfying those fans and then making it more modern for our newer fans? Is that a difficult balance for you? I mean, not really. I mean, I think much like the comic books that have come before, each one of those was building on a comic book that had come before that. And I think the MCU is very much the same way. We're just a, a new comic run issue. You know, we are building on everything that's come before, but creating a new story right now that honors the past, but takes in the moment we're in right now and hopefully builds towards the future. And so it's all part of a continuum. We're not adapting any one comic, but we're, we're definitely not ignoring any of them either because all of it is part of, of this story. Was, I love, it's so clever how all of the different decades are woven together and it comes together for a greater purpose of to tell the eventual story. What are, are there challenges to interweaving those different decades? Because they look visually so very different and just making them all work together as one big unit. Absolutely, we, you know, we worked really hard on the authenticity of each sitcom era. So that means, yeah, they're shot very different from each other, whether it's aspect ratio or lenses or lighting or you name it, costume design, of course, everything about it was meant to be as sort of period authentic as possible. The goal of course was never to feel like we were spoofing or doing a parody, this was, legitimately recreating these worlds. Um, but the thing I hope that pulls everything together is not really going to be something that the camera can do or, or something that, that I can do with, with music or anything. It's really the story itself and it's the emotional through line of this story of Wanda and Vision. And I, I root for them, I'm fascinated by them. I think they're great. And I think hopefully that the audience will be engaged with them as well. Absolutely. I know I was engaged. What really engaged me were the little Easter eggs. I won't say where they were or what they were, but I caught a few. And so for the few I caught, I know there's probably tons I didn't. If you had to guess how many Easter eggs were in each episode, like ballpark, are there five, are there 10? Yeah, you know, I couldn't even hazard a guess, you know, because some of them are there without me even realizing it. You know, I would show up in the post uh, production suite editing or whatever, and I'd be like, Oh, Russell, the prop guy, put that in there. Oh my gosh, you know, so there's a lot of those things as well as ones that were obviously intended. And it's all part of the joy. I mean, I love the idea of finding those little surprises in there. And then there are also larger, so there are also larger surprises that are meant to be there because they're helping to build, you know, the ultimate story. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time. It's so cool. And I'm looking forward to everybody else getting to weigh in and see it too. Thank you awesome. for your time. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good one. You too. Bye-bye. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.